Hey y'all, welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. Y'all, I went to Kroger and I racked up. I could not believe the deals that I found. Um, one, on clearance, and then just these in-store deals are pretty good also. So we are full on the table, as you see. We've got this chair, this chair, and then we are down in the floor. I'm telling y'all, I did so freaking good. Uh, so with the deals and everything, before the deals, in-store deals, coupons and all that, it was almost 250 I think. And here's what I spent, y'all. I think I did pretty good. We've been averaging about 130 to 140 a week. And so I feel like with me getting the hamburger meat that y'all are about to see, plus my extras $5, my $5 deal and stock up items, I think y'all are going to be pretty impressed. I know I sure was. <laughs> I could not believe I got out of that store only spending $176. And 76 cents so let me show you what I got we will start over here in the chair I got a bag of potatoes I got a bag of onions and I picked up two acorn squash one of my friends on Facebook um, she just shared a recipe with acorn squash and y'all it looked so good so I have to give that a try so I picked those up got Winston some bananas our boys coming back He'll be back this week. I'm so excited. I have missed him like no other. So I got him some bananas. Got a bag of baby carrots. Picked up some chicken tenders. Got a can of French onion soup mix. I got two of these cup rice aronis for Luke to have for his locker if he needs them. I got two of the party pizzas. I got this one, um, the triple cheese and then I have one in the oven right now because I'm starving to death and it is pepperoni and then I picked up a thing of the Kroger brand crackers I got my favorite the Ritz cheese these were on sale for 99 cents a bottle so I had to pick me up some got two of the let's see two of the honey barbecue one regular barbecue and then I got one of the hickory brown sugar. Those were on sale, like I said, for 99 cents. Really killer deal if you can stock up. So I definitely did. Got three of these puppy foods for Winston. <laughs> for Max. Winston does not eat dog food. That's for Max. Got pretty, I looked up and found some bread on sale. They had our favorite for 89 cents a piece. I got two of the loaf bread. And then I got two of the hamburger buns. I needed hamburger buns, so this worked out perfect. And if you seen my last haul, I had got one of these also on sale. So I'm going to, but I froze it. So I'm going to pull it out of the freezer and then put these in the freezer so I can use that other one first. And then we'll have these. Got some tater rounds that are my all-time favorite. Got a bag of the party wings. Uh, Luke needed the... Luke needed chicken wings, and they didn't have any in packs like this. They had none. So that was the only option. So I just picked that up. Hopefully, he'll be happy with that. And then they had their ground beef on sale. Y'all know we've been waiting for that. Waiting. We were so excited. It was, I think, five something for a log, and a log's three pounds. And if you know, we take one log, cut it in half, and so it's two meals for us. So we've got six logs in total. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got six logs in total of ground beef. So, y'all, that is 12 meals for us. And it is, like I said, it was five something per log. So, that was a great deal. We had been waiting for that to go on sale. We were so stinking happy. The peanut butter was my $5 stock up item this week. It was four for five. And so, I picked up three of the creamy and then one crunchy. We've got a couple that like some crunchy peanut butter in this house. I picked up the Johnsonville breakfast sausage. We normally get the turkey ones, but these were on markdown and the original price was $3.99. So I went ahead and picked up two. I'll throw those in the freezer and then we can have them whenever we need them. Picked up some more bologna. I got these 
uh, Simply Potatoes. I've seen a ton of people haul these and use these in recipes on YouTube, so I wanted to give them a try. I'm going to be making Luke some breakfast cups, um, egg cups, for his breakfast prep for next week. So I thought I would give those a try instead of getting just the frozen hash browns. Picked up some flour tortillas. Got some diced ham. I got some flaky crab meat. Winston and I both like crab meat and I plan on making some homemade crab ragoons with those. And y'all will see those in an upcoming what's for lunch video. I got one of these Mountain Dew Rise Energy drinks. This was free with a coupon. We have never tried these. We have no clue. I've never seen them. So it was free. Got some chili powder. Got a two pack of cream cheese. Got some more ranch. I got Winston some cookie dough non-dairy ice cream. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm excited and it's not even for me, but we, the other, the Briars that we got the last time for him to try, we all three like it. It is so good. I got him two of these, the lactose-free yogurts. I got cinnamon roll and I got banana and cream, or banana cream pie. So hopefully he'll like those. He was not a fan of the silk almond milk yogurt. He did not like that. So I thought I would try those. And then we picked us up um, some chocolate chip cookie dough. That way we can have ice cream with him you know, so he doesn't feel left out. That's what I try to do, because while he was gone this week, um, or I'm filming this before, sorry. When he was gone, Luke and I would went to go get ice cream at, you know, like at an ice cream place. And I was looking on their menu to see if they had any non-dairy items, and they don't. So I feel bad, you know, like I don't want him to feel left out if we go to places like that. So it's easier for us and cheaper just to have this here at the house. And then that way we can all have a sweet treat together and he doesn't feel left out. Got a big thing of sour cream. Picked up some Cool Whip. I got a can of black olives. Got Luke's favorite blue cheese dressing. Got a can of marinara. The cheese wasn't on sale this week, so I just picked up a big bag of mozzarella and a big bag of mild cheddar. Got some Colby Jack slices. And then I also picked up a pack of bacon. Got some heavy whipping cream. The eggs were on sale for 99 cents, a 12 pack. So I picked up two of those. Got a big thing of the vanilla silk. Y'all know how much we love it. And then I looked up and found one of the, um, is it Bold House, I think? Farm, that's the Berry Boost one. Winston used to drink these all the time when he was a, when he was a kid, like I say kid. Like when he was a baby, we would give those to him and he loved them. So I thought, I would try that out and see if he liked it. And it was on Markdown for $1.99. Okay, so this over here is all the stuff that I looked up and found on clearance. It was an in-store clearance. So my Kroger is completely redoing their whole store. They're adding like a liquor, a liquor department and like all this stuff. They're completely changing the whole store. So throughout this process, they've been having a bunch of extra stuff on Markdown. So I looked up and found this. And I know y'all already are like, why the heck did you buy more mac and cheese, girl? You just bought 10 boxes last week. Well, I bought some more. And I will show you why in just a second. So I picked up two bags of these self-rising flowers. They were on sale. Yay. 49 cents a piece. So I picked those up. I have room for one of them in my container, but the other one I will put in a Ziploc bag and I will put it in the freezer. That's how I store my flour. Um, if, I, if it can fit in the freezer, then I put it in the Ziploc baggie. That way it doesn't get any moisture on it. It won't ruin. And then it just stays fresher longer in the deep freeze. I got some chocolate chips. They were 99 cents. I never seen these before. It says original price was three seventy nine, so it's a pretty good deal. I found two cans, or I got two cans of the Spaghetti-O Franks. I think Winston will enjoy these, and they had them for forty nine cents a piece. So I picked up two of those. They had these buttermilk corn uh, bread and muffin mixes, y'all. 
10 cents a piece. 10 cents a piece, I couldn't. So I bought six. <laughs> I got six of those. I, I could not pass that up. That was a really good deal. And then got this five pack of Kraft Mac and Cheese. And let's see, let's find it. Here it is. Yay. $1.99, y'all. Y'all already know. I just couldn't. I could not not get that. You know? I just had to. So, we're just going to have a crap ton more mac and cheese. And, y'all, we eat a lot of mac and cheese. So, and then the white cheddar I got for 20 cents a piece. So, I got four of those. Um, like, I know. I know we don't need more mac and cheese. But, we will eat it. And I was excited to find it on Markdown. They had a ton of stuff. Ton of stuff, y'all. So, I just went with this stuff. I thought I'd kind of, you know, go gentle. But, we're going to be eating macaroni till, till we're sick of it, I guess. <laughs> and if somebody comes along and needs food, then I have all that extra food stocked up. If anybody, you know, somebody's having a hard time, I can always donate. So, that's also an option and then down here we got two things of l8 and then i got the mini waters i have been loving the mini waters lately for winston and i both to have in the mini fridge where we can just grab and go and not waste a whole bottle of water so for us financially this is a better option than buying the bigger ones that's from last week that's why it's not over here but for me and Winston both throughout the day, this is just such a better option. And then they had grape. So I picked up the flavored waters and the grape. And then I got some grape soda and some Dr. K. And we normally don't buy soda, but I actually have a sponsored video coming up. Y'all will be seeing it soon. And I got a mini fridge. So I thought I would kind of stock up on some drinks and then I'll be able to have stuff to put in there and show y'all my new mini fridge once that video comes out. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'm definitely excited to share my mini fridge with y'all. So stinking excited. So that sponsored video will be coming soon, but that's everything. I'm starving to death, so I'm going to get off here, put all this cold stuff up, and eat me some lunch. Okay, y'all, here is our game plan for the meals this week. As you know, we don't follow Monday through Sunday. But for some meals, we have got some pork chops. Luke asked for fried pork chops. Then I'm going to do some scalloped potatoes from a cookbook. And then a pizza casserole. And then we're going to have a French onion burgers and some squash. And then we got the chicken tater tot casserole. Y'all know this has been on rotation a lot. Luke absolutely loves my chicken tater tot casserole. I'll have the recipe linked down below if y'all are interested. And then I'm going to do some Ritz chicken with some mac and cheese and some peas. And then we're going to do some chicken and noodles in the slow cooker. And then we're going to do... Our favorite, also family favorite in rotation, is the brown sugar chili chicken. And I have that recipe um, typed out for you guys, so I'll have it linked below as well. So that's just the game plan. I'll, I'll just pick and choose what we want throughout the week. So that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.